Okay, let us uh, understand the problem number four. Let us read the problem number four. Okay, and solve what is the problem number four. Okay, so we have a given two vectors according here. Vector C is 30 newtons, 30 degrees north of the east. Okay, and then we have, uh, and we have vector D is 50 newtons, 40 degrees north of west. Find the resultant vector. Okay, sulat natin ang given, no? Okay, so we have a given. Sulat natin. We have vector C. We sub C equals equals 30 newtons 30 de 30 degrees north of east okay 30 newtons 30 degrees north of east 30 newtons 30 degrees pangit na nung sulat natin pagkain natin yun baka Newtons ang pinag-uusapan. So, this is a force. Okay? 30 Newtons. So, sabihin natin that uh, this is a force na lang. Okay? Para hindi tayo magkamali. So, the force C. Force C. Force C equals... For C, okay, we have for C equivalent to 30 newtons, okay, 30 newtons, then 30 degrees, 30 degrees north of east. North of east, yun, hindi yung newtons, nagbigyan natin ng homes again. North of east, north of east. And then we have F sub D or force D. Okay. Equivalent siya ng 50 newtons, 40, 40 degrees north of west. Okay. 50 newtons. 50 newtons. Okay. Then we have 40 degrees north of west. Yeah, something like that. Pick up ko lang that is 30 newtons, 30, de 30 degrees north of east. Yung isa, F sub D. That's F sub D. Well, 50 newtons, 40 degrees north of west. Now, let us determine the result of that of these forces. Ang tawag sa result of vector ng forces na ito ay net force. Net force, okay? The net force is the sum of all forces involved acting on a specific body. Okay, so this this one is the net force. Let's suppose that the net force is F sub N. Okay. This is also equivalent to B sub R, the result of vector. Okay, so pwersa kasi... Kapag sinabi nilang net force, yon ang sum ng lahat ng persa. In our situation, in this uh, problem, we have uh, the force C and force D. Okay? Now, let us determine their net force or result of vector. Okay? The net force. Okay. The first step is to draw the free body diagram of these uh, forces. And we have... 30 newtons, 30, de 30 degrees north of east. So, this is east, that is north. Para siyang paganyan. Tama? Pagtan natin ang kulay. Para siyang paganyan. Okay. In reference to in reference to the eastward direction. So, yeah. so this is 30 degrees. That is 30 degrees. Then we have the second vector. Okay, the force D. That is 15 newtons going in the north of east. 40 degrees north of east direction. So, para siyang ganyan, tama? Okay. 
something like that in reference to the northward direction okay sorry in the westward direction i mean so yeah so this is 40 degrees now determine the result of vector okay or the net force from initial point to final point union okay okay so as you can see uh ito ang result of vector natin ang um, um, f sub n this is f sub n okay. ngayon kung titignan natin yan okay medyo mahirap nating masagot yan in using the cosine or sine laws okay parang mahirapan tayo dito eh okay marami sa mga physics teachers or professors or engineering professors ang gagamitin nilang method in case of in in in, in this scenario is uh, the component method wherein we will be talking about that uh, on our next video presentation component method ginagamit ko lang kasi ang component method there exists three or more vectors in the plane okay pwedeng magamit ang component method in this case pwedeng pwedeng gamitin ang component method because Kapag sinabi kasi nila component method, may component na ang mga vectors involved in the plane. Okay, something like this F sub C and F sub D. O as you can see, they, they are something like a slope. Okay, tignan papakita ko lang sa inyo. Okay, look at this 30 degrees. Look at this uh, F sub C. This is F sub C. Tama? Okay, that is F sub C. As you can see, ang F sub C meron siyang component Okay? Paano siya nabuo? Okay? Meron siyang inclination. Uh, siya ay combination ni F sub C in the X direction. Ayan. And F sub C in the Y direction. Ayan. This is F sub C in the X direction. F sub C, X. And F sub C in the Y direction. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. The same thing kay, 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 kay F sub D. Well, this is F sub D. Okay, meron din siyang uh, sarili niya. Ano, no? Okay. Okay. As you can see, okay. Nagawa naman si F sub D because it, uh, F sub D composed of F sub D in the X direction. X direction kasi pa horizontal and F sub D in the Y direction. Okay, and something like that. Okay, now in this case, okay, gagamit na component method ang ibang mga professors. Okay, on the other hand, okay, clear muna natin yung mga yan. Okay, since we are talking about the use, the usefulness of uh, or the utilization of uh, uh, the sine cosine laws. Okay, so for that, yeah. The use, the uses of us cosine loss, uh, sine cosine loss. Yun ang gagamitin natin in this situation. Okay. Okay. Papakita natin sa inyo paano ito yung solve. Okay. Let us use black. We want to determine what is the value of f sub n in its magnitude and direction. Okay. Paano natin yung gagawin? Oh, if we if we know the value f sub c here, this is 30 newtons, tama? We can still use the the cosine law SAS condition. Okay, this is uh 14, 50 newtons. Okay, 50 newtons yan. This one, the f sub d. Kailangan natin ang angle dito. Isi na lang nun. Kung kung makuha natin ang angle dito, isi na lang kung paano natin makuha si f sub n. Ang problem natin dito, yung angle okay, in between 50 newtons and 30 newtons. So angle, the, the, the angle of intersection between F sub C and F sub D. Paano natin yung makuha? We have 40 degrees here. The problem is hindi ito 90 degrees. Okay? Hindi siya kamukha kanina sa ating previous uh, video, sa ating previous problem. 
90 degrees ang problema dito, hindi natin alam ito. So, suppose this is the value, this is a value of x. We need to determine the value of x. Whatever that value, add to 40 degrees, then that's it. Okay. Okay. Tignan natin, analyze natin. Okay. Alisin muna natin itong Alisin muna natin ito. Okay. Paano natin ba maalis ito? Yan. Okay. Alisin muna natin yun and then at the same time. Sorry. Ito na. Okay. Yan. That is F sub N. Alisin muna natin ang mga yan, no? Analyze natin muna si si F sub C. Okay? As you can see, F sub C, kanina, if we will be creating uh, Cartesian plane, this is northward, this is south, this is eastward. Progression. Tama? Then, ilagay natin ito. No? Dito. If this is 30 degrees, what is this? 60 degrees. Tama? Okay. Sulat lang natin maayos. This is 60 degrees. That is 60 degrees. Tama? Ngayon, if this is 40 degrees, ang kailangan natin makuha itong x na to. Okay, tama? Itong x na ito. Okay? Kung ito yung extend natin, this is this is a uh, uh, westward direction, this is right uh, rightward direction or eastward direction. Okay? And then we have, ano dito, no? We have southward direction and we have uh, the northward direction. Yan po, sa taas. Makikita natin, guys, that this 40 degrees, yung, yung nandito is 60 degrees, sorry, is 50 degrees. Tama? Because 50 plus 40 is 90 degrees. 90 degrees kasi ito. Yan. Yan. Sa 90 din yun. Kung ito, naging 60 ito dahil 90 nga yun. 30 yun, 60 yun, so 90. Ito, 50 yun, 40, 90. Ang kailangan natin makuha ito. Kung extend natin ito, let us use the principle of transversal line. Kung i-extend natin ito, magmi-mirror tayo ng kamukha nito papunta sa baba. Makikita, makikita natin that the relationship of this 40 degrees to this angle, sa angle na ito, is also for, is vertical angle. So, so they have the same the same value, the, mass, the same uh, measures of angle. So, this is 40 degrees. Tama? Okay? Now, kung ito naman, extend din natin papunta doon. Okay? Something like this. Kita ko lang. Something like that. So, this, this, this unknown x will be equal to this x also. Tama? Okay? Oh, and this one, vertical angle, 50 degrees din ito. Tama? Okay? Okay? Ayan. Kung extend natin ito, magkakaroon ng 90 degrees dito. Okay? Ayan. Nagkaroon ng 90 degrees in that case. So now, this is 90. This is 90 minus 30 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Tama? Okay. 60 degrees yan. Okay. Now, look at this. Look at this one. Kung i-extend natin ito, okay, dito, kung i-extend natin ito doon, okay, this will become 90 degrees. At ang x, makukuha na natin that is 30 degrees because 60 degrees, okay, 90 degrees plus 60 degrees, okay, is uh, 150 degrees. 
So, 180 degree ang buong internal angle ng triangle. So, 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. Therefore, the value of X is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. Okay? Paano natin mapapatunayan that this is 30 degrees? Look at this one. This is 60 degrees. This, the, the vertical angle of 60 degrees is this one. So, magiging 60 ito. Magiging 60 ito. Okay? Magiging 60 ito. 60 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, if this is 90 degrees, 90 minus 60, this is equal to 30 degrees. And as you can see, that this is 30 degrees at vertical angle doon is 30 degrees, same sila ng measures. Ibig sabihin, ang nawawala S na ito, ang angle na kailangan natin yan is 30 degrees. Okay? It's 30 degrees. Now, this angle, this, this, this whole angle, because we have side and we need to determine the angle, this, this whole angle, then we have another side. Okay? This is this one that is 40 degrees plus 30 degrees. Then that measure is equivalent to 70 degrees. Okay? Hopefully you understand that. Now, meron din kasing ano yan, no? Uh, parang, ano, alternate the uh, interior angle. Ito, alternate interior angle. Yan. This is also alternate interior angle using the principle of uh, transversal line, no? Kaya, easy lang siya, okay? Easy lang siya, makukuha natin ang sagot doon. Okay? Okay, and then, ilagay natin yan. Okay, we can determine the value of F sub N. Okay? Okay? So, i-drawing lang natin ulit. Okay, this is 30. That is 30. Then, we have... Uh, 50 newtons, then we have the result of vector. Sorry. The result of vector is this one. Something like that. Ngayon, ina-analyze natin, katulad ang sinasabi ko anina sa inyo, ina-analyze natin yan is in reference to okay, in reference to the eastward direction. This is a uh, uh, northward, yan ay eastward. Sorry, westward. And that is okay, eastward. This is westward. Ito ay southward direction. So makikita natin from initial point to final point, makikita natin that uh, our direction, the, re the direction of the, the net force or the V sub R is north of, north of east. Yeah. North of east. Okay. So, kunin natin ang angle in respect. Okay. In respect to this, to that, uh, uh, in respect to that uh, direction eastward. So, kung titignan natin yan, itong, itong angle na ito ang pinakakailangan natin. Okay. Pakita ko lang sa inyo para hindi tayo malito. Okay. Ibang kulay, no? Ang angle na ito, ang buong angle na yan, kailangan natin. Okay. So, kailangan natin makuha ang buong angle na ito. So, alam na natin ang angle dito. This is 30 degrees. Okay. This is 30 degrees. Okay, ayun, ito, ito. Ito yun. Ang angle na ito ang kailangan natin. Kung 30 degrees yan, at ang buong ito ay 60 degrees, kailangan natin makuha ang angle doon. By using uh, the principle the principle of uh, this one, the oblique triangle. This is oblique triangle again. Okay. So, dalawang component natin na involved dito. This is 30 degrees already. Okay? At ito ang kailangan natin makuha. That angle. That is theta prime. Okay? Whatever the angle of that 
at that restricted release, that will be the angle, the, the degree, minute, second direction of our net force. Okay? Okay, analyze natin ang, uh, ang oblique triangle. So suppose this is A, okay, B, and then C. Okay. What is side A? As you can see, the red one, that is 50 newtons. Okay. And then we have uh, side C, that is 30 newtons. Okay, 30 newtons ito. Uh, we need to determine what is the value of angle B, sorry, side B. Since we have already obtained the angle B, we're in angle B is 70, de 70 degrees. 70 and 70 degrees. Okay. Okay. So we'll be using the cosine law, B squared. Okay, B squared equals A squared. So we have b squared equals a squared okay, plus c squared minus 2ab, sorry, 2ac cosine b. Okay, yeah. Yan ang ating uh, formula, no? So what is a squared? The a squared is 50 newton squared. Okay. Alisin na natin yung symbol para hindi tayo malito. Okay lang naman yun. So what is 50 squared? That is uh, 2,500. Tama ba tayo? Okay, that is 2,500. 50 squared is 2,500. 25 plus what is C squared? Okay, we have 30 newtons. That's 900. Minus 2 multiply to 30 times 50. That is 3,000 minus 3,000. Then we have cosine. What is the angle B? That's 70 degrees. Cosine 70 degrees. Equals. Okay, so pag add natin, 2, 5 plus 900. 2, 5 plus 900. Equivalent to 3,400. Okay. Plus, sorry, minus 3,000 times cosine, 3,000 times cosine 70. Okay, look at, uh, share, share lang natin, no? Uh, 3,000, 3,000, multiply to cosine 70. That is the answer. That is the answer. Now, kanina, uh, Na minus na, uh, na, na add na natin, I mean, ang 25 at 900, that is 3,400. Minus natin doon, no? Okay, that's most. 3,400 minus the answer. So that is the final answer. 2,373 two, two, point something like that. Okay? But we will be getting the square root of that. Okay? Why? Kasi meron pa tayong this squared. So minus the answer. The answer 1 in the decimals. Then we have B equals the square root of the answer 2. So our final answer is equal to okay, decimals. Square root of the answer equivalent to 48.72. Yun ang ating sagot. Okay. 48.72. This is 48.72 as, as I said a while ago. Okay. Hindi ko po yan. Hindi po ako ready in terms of uh, answering those things. I mean, hindi ko sinob ang mga yan. No? Ngayon lang natin sinosob ang mga yan. Okay. Alam na mga estudyante ko kung paano ako, kung anong klase akong teacher. No? Ah... Uh, Sila mismo, gumagawa kami ng mga problems, problem solving, mga problems involved sa mismo classroom namin, sa classroom setting namin. And then answer namin doon, okay? Okay, so that is the, the magnitude of a 
the resultant vector or the net force 48.72 newtons. Ngayon, kailangan natin kunin ang, ang theta prime and then add to 30 degrees para makuha natin ang, ang, uh, ang uh, angle involved sa kanyang direction. Okay, to determine theta prime, dito na lang, theta prime, determine theta prime, we will be using the sine loss. Okay, so this is uh, sine A, tama? sorry, angle A. Theta prime is also equivalent to angle A. So sine A, what is over A? That is 50 newtons over A. Ito, the opposite side of the angle A is uh, 50 newtons. Okay? Pagpasensya na natin, no, may mga kabataan. Kung may narinilig ba kayong mga hindi malamang mga boses, may mga kabataan sa so, nakapabay namin magsama-sama, hindi ko alam anong kanilang ginagawa. Okay? Hopefully, uh, hopefully, gumagawa sila ng mabuti. No? Minsan kasi mga kabataan, pag nagsama-sama na, hindi na gumagawa ng mabuti, lalo na mga kabataan ngayon. Okay? So, okay. Uh, anyway, well, let's solve this. We have sine B. Okay, what is B? That is uh, 70 degrees. 70 degrees. Sine 70 degrees divided by the B. We have already obtained what is the value of B. That is 48.72 point, 48 newtons. Cross multiply, then divide by 48.72 newtons, and then uh, determine the inverse sign. So, ang answer natin is the inverse sign okay, of 50 newtons multiply to sine 70 okay, degrees. Okay, divided by 48.72 newtons. This is uh, 7. Okay. So A equals or theta prime is equal to okay, pakita lang natin 50 multiplied to sine 70. Okay. 50 multiplied to sine 70. Okay. okay 50 Multiply to sine 70 equals divided by, sorry, 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 answer divided by a 48.72. So that is the answer. Then let us determine the inverse sign of that, of the answer. So our answer is 74.66 something. But basically, we will be converting that using uh, the degree minute second. Okay, the inverse sine of uh, of fifty multiplied to sine uh, seventy, and then uh, I'll be I am using my calculator. Okay, mm. to be exact, 0.72. Okay, plus thirty. Our final answer is one hundred four degrees. One hundred four degrees. 104 degrees. The angle A is equivalent to minus minus uh, 39. Okay. We went 74 degree. Okay. 39 minutes. And 42.08 seconds. But we need okay, we need the uh, this one, this 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 angle. Theta prime plus 30 degrees. This is also equals theta prime. Because theta prime is equivalent to angle A. Okay. Now we have that. We add the lang natin 30 degrees because theta prime is 74 degree degrees 39 minutes 42.08 seconds plus 30 natin. We have 104 degree degrees. Okay. We we have 104 degrees theta on no? Okay. Okay. The whole theta that we want to obtain is 104 degrees, 39 minutes, 42.08 seconds. Okay? Yeah. Okay. 
so our final answer will be equal, equivalent to 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 uh, f sub n equals okay and forty eight point seventy two newtons. Okay, one hundred four degrees, thirty nine minutes, minutes forty two. Okay, continuation lang yan sa paper nyo, okay? 0 0.08. 0 0.08 seconds. Okay, north of east. Okay, see? Okay, see? That is our result of that term. This will be the final answer. Okay. See, uh, ang lahat ng pinag-aaralan natin sa mathematics, ang lahat ng pinag-aaralan natin as a fullness in mathematics, okay, the pure mathematics will help us to understand its applied, okay, its applied uh, uh, contents, okay. Uh, like, for example, this one, understanding the vector quantity in, in uh, what we call physics subject, okay, Ang problema lang natin sa physics subject, di na kamukha niyan, okay? Kung titignan natin ang oras, ang vector quantity, para siyang 3 hours na, okay? Parang pang one week na, okay? Kung i-explain mo ng buo talaga, ang, para maintindihan ng mga estudyante. As in, we, uh, we are still in the condition of uh, two, two, two vectors involved in the plane. What if there are three, three vectors, four vectors, five vectors involved in the plane? Ibang usapan na naman yun. So, mag-extend na naman tayo. Okay? That's why, if we are, uh, like for example, this pandemic period, okay, new normal, okay, malapit na tayo mag-new normal, sana mag-achieve uh, uh, na natin ang new, new normal okay, sa buong Pilipinas. Okay, mawala na tayo, mawala na tayo, maging, maging COVID-free na tayo, maging COVID-free na ating nation. And then we'll be entering in the new normal stage or period of our uh, of our nation, okay, of our life, okay. Ngayon, ang ang iniisip ko sana naman since pandemic na, yung yung babahan ng konte, i-condense naman ng ilesen naman ang mga kurikulum ng physics, lalo lalo na sa STEM strand, okay. Pwede kasi ito sa Sa, sa engineering, okay? Sa mga engineering student, kailangan talaga maintindihan mo ng buong yan. If I'm not mistaken, di lang one year dapat ang physics, okay? Kailangan two years yan. Kasi ang mga nag-major ng physics subject, like for example, BS Ed major in physics subject, okay? Ang mga yan, kinukuha nila ang physics subject ng four years, okay? Like for example, this vector quantity yan, talagang parang ano na yan, isang semester ng pag-uusapan yan, something like that. Okay? With kinematics and uh, uh, po county sa dynamics. Kasi four years naman yun. So first sem, second semester, eight semesters ang involved. Kaya mapapag-aralan ng maigi. Okay? Ang problema natin yan, uh, sa mga STEM strand, okay? kailangan mga basic-basic content. Okay? Okay. In our next video presentation, I will not be teaching you in regards to understanding the, the addition of vectors, three or more vectors involved in the plane. Rather, I will be having a blog. Okay. Kung sino ba sa mga teachers o oh, ilan bang percent. Okay. Magpe-present ako ng ilang percent ba ng mga teachers sa buong Pilipinas ang qualified na magturo ng physics subject. Okay? Ano ang pagkukulang nila o ano ba ang pwedeng mangyari? Okay? Kung alimbawa, ang isang science major, suppose, nag-graduate ng biological science, okay, then pinapagturo ng physics, di pwede. Hindi po pwede. Okay? Hindi po pwede talaga na ang, ang, ang biological science, papagturo mo ng pure, pure physics subject, hindi po pwede talaga yon. Okay? Ang mathematics, pwede pa. Ang mathematics major, pwede pang magturo ng ganyan. Okay?
Kasi talagang pinag-aralan niya ng buong pure mathematics. Like for example, ang calculus 1, calculus 2. Eh wala namang alam ang biological science major sa calculus 1, calculus 2. Hindi niya matuturo na maayos. Okay? Hindi niya talaga ma-maximize ang, ang, ang competency. Okay? Kahit na po kulang ng teacher, kailangan talaga hindi, hindi talaga magturo na ang graduate ng biological science ng physics subject. Ang kailangan nagtuturo ng physics subject, uh, physics major talaga dapat. Engineering, mathematics major, at ang graduate ng physical science. Okay, pwede yun. Okay, pwede po yun. Pero ang physical science parang ano, no? uh, magtuturo yan. Mas maganda siguro kung ilalagay yan sa ano no kung physical science na major no. Okay? Pero kasi hindi ko alam kung meron silang subject na calculus sa mga physical sciences. Kung meron silang subject na calculus, pwede silang magturo ng physics. Okay? Pwede naman silang magturo ng physics, ang problema lang puro content, content, content. Okay? Ang mga yan, sine cosine na yan. Tapos bibigay lang ang formula, ganun lang. Okay? Walang walang Analysis, bakit naging ganyan ang formula? Okay? Ang math major, pwede niyang i-derive ang formula. Okay? Tarapat dapat ang math major. We'll be talking about that in our next vlog. Okay? But uh, for today's video, sana natutunan niyo how to determine, how to use the sign and cosine laws. Okay, good day everyone. Okay? Remember, God loves you. Uh, Mag-iingat kayo. Always wear face mask. Uh, sumunod kayo sa batas ng ating gobyerno upang sa ganoon makita kayo na kayo na nananampag tayo kay Christo Jesus. Don't forget to subscribe our video presentations. Don't forget to comment, to like, and share our videos. Good day, guys. God bless you all.